Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how can note taking improve performance by using action codes. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the next generation note taking and planning technique. For the past 20 years, I've been helping people to manage information and knowledge more effectively. So how can codes for actions help? Well, I'm going to share with you the solution that I've developed, but also why it will give you a competitive edge over someone who is listening or taking notes using a laptop, and also how note takers can immediately adopt this technique to their advantage. Now, the problem I used to have is that I'd go lots of meetings and there were lots of actions. And yes, I might capture them, but I had no consistent way of doing it. And if I did capture them, the other problem I had is that sometimes I would forget all the, uh, the information I needed to put. And it's really simple. I need to know that it's an action really quickly. I need to know that um, who's, who's got to do it and what the date is. And sometimes I would forget. So the solution. Now, as an information athlete, I know whatever solution I come up with, it needs to have a number of qualities. It needs to be really fast to do. It needs to look professional. And because I'm processing and creating knowledge to use real time, it needs to have good glance access. So I need to be able to spot it really fast. So what did I do? I came up with something unbelievably simple. Do you want to have a guess what it was? It's my friend, the circle. Why did I choose a circle? Well, it's a shape, so it stands out amongst from letters, but it's also very, very fast to do. And speed, when I'm managing knowledge, is of the essence. Then the next thing I would do is, I wouldn't want to, I'd want to not add in anything unnecessary, which I, I could possibly avoid. So how I used to do it is that whatever the word was, whether it was the action, I would put a circle around it, and then the circle in itself would trigger my memory to remi remind me two things. And on the top, I would put uh, the initials. So let's say I've got to do an action, so that's JK, and I've got to do it by the 14th of whatever month it was. Very, very simple, yet very, very effective. So I'm gonna give you an example of how I'd actually use it um, myself in real time. So let's say somebody said to me, right, we want to negotiate some education joint ventures. I would go and Jonathan, um, I, want you, I want you to do that at, in X time scale. So I would go educate. Um, I would actually switch here. I'd go joint venture education. Now, the reason I've switched these two words because I bring the keyword up front because that helps to helps me to analyze better, but also opens up my thinking and the questioning. Now, it's me who's got to do the action. So I just literally, I put in a circle. I put in, um, it's JK who's got to do it. And let's say I've got to do it by the 16th. And I put in the month if necessary. That's it. Really, really simple. Now, the benefit for me of doing this is that I just feel that much more professional. I'm on top of it. And there is something very, very delicious at the end of the meeting, being able to um, do a really quick cap, recap and summary of all the actions. So for example, here is a uh, meeting I went to a couple of months ago. And um, just from looking at a glance, very quickly I can see there are four actions there. I can see who the actions assigned to and what the dates are. And I can very quickly do a summary at the end of the meeting. And this was a meeting one hour long with a lot of knowledge there. The other great thing is if I'm meeting that client um, again in say six months time, it's very, very fast for me to go back to the original uh, knowledge that I harvested from six months ago and to see exactly what we agreed. Now, why does this give me a competitive edge over people who are listening or using a laptop to take notes? The reason being um, is if I make that 
decision to manage information in a meeting by listening straight away. I've got one hand behind my back because I know as an information athlete, my, my Achilles heel is my short term memory, which is only seven plus or minus two chunks of information, which is tiny because in a complex meeting, you could have, I don't know, between you say 20 to 100 pieces of information with action points on top of that. So the possibility of me remembering action points accurately, who's got to do it by what dates, really, really tough. If I make the decision to use a laptop, again, as an information athlete, I know that I'm going to be restricting myself for a number of reasons. By using a keyboard, it takes up extra what they call cognitive load, brain processing, and it doesn't naturally have any code. So there's no codes that I could naturally uh, use which would replicate that. But the other problem I know with using a laptop for me is that I can only see a limited amount of the information on a laptop screen because the screen is a set size. So I might only be seeing a quarter or a third of all the knowledge that's actually uh, been shared in that meeting. If I do decide to use note taking, sort of traditional school note taking, then absolutely this will help. So if you are a note taker, please feel free to use this. Um, remember, you just circle the keyword, put your initials or the initials the person doing the action at the top, the date underneath. It's really fast to do and really, really easy. So how do I actually feel when I'm doing this? It's actually really good because I just feel on top of it. You know, if I'm in a client, important client meeting straight off at the end, I can, I can see straight away. I've got uh, four actions there and I can do a very quick summary. And I'll actually say, would you like me to do a summary of all the action points? And that simple act is really powerful and feels really good because it shows the person I'm working with that I'm interested, I'm taking this meeting seriously and I'm on top of my game. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do uh, click the like button and feel free to make some comments. And of course, always feel free to share it with any friends, clients or colleagues who you know might be interested or are keen to improve their performance. And uh, finally, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a brilliant rest of the day. Thank you. And of course, Somewhere around this video, at the top, on the sides, or down the bottom, you'll find a link for a free information guide on some more tips on how to manage information more effectively.